Hello all, welcome back to Learning Partner. If you are new, please do subscribe. This is another channel where you can directly connect with me. We have around 1000 plus members already who are working. We take live coding sessions and everything so to just get notified about those sessions. Please do join this group. So in previous episode, we have seen signal. How do we create signal? How do we update the signal? Now in Angular 19, we have got link signal. So this is something new what we got from Angular 19. Now. Let's see how we create the link signal. In which scenario we are going to use link signal? What is computation and equal function in the link signal? So these things we are going to see. Again, like this is in a stable version. It's not like in an experimental version. It is in the stable version. Now let's see. So what I have done, I have created this component. So as I have, you know, as from the first episode I'm following, for every topic I'm creating one more component, right? So I have created this component. I have created the routes also and in the navbar I have added the links. Fine. Let's open the component now. Now, how do we create the signal first? So let's create a signal, normal signal first. So let's say first name is equal to signal. This is how we create the signal. We can provide the data type also and the initialization value something. Right. So this is how we create the signal. Now, Let's say we have first name and the last name and first name and the last name means we have two, two signal. If first name value get changed, I need to again regenerate the last name means if one signal value get changed, we have some another signal that value needs to automatically change. So here comes the link signal. If one signal value means dependent signal, let's say we have two signals and those should be dependent means if any uh, value, any signal value got changed, we need to regenerates another signal value. If you have scenario like this, it's like if one variable go, if one variable value got changed, you need to regenerate another variable value. If you have something scenario like that, in that scenario, you will be using linked signal. Fine. So what I have done, I have created first name variable. Let's create full name also. Sorry, last name is equal to signal string. Let's initialize with empty value. Fine. So we have created two signal. Sorry. Name. Now, what I need to do, we will create a link signal now. Now, how do we create a link signal? So let's say full name is equal to linked signal. This is how you create the link signal. And link signal will have source means what particular signal we have to match for the changes. So round bracket, curly bracket. And here we need to provide source. Why well, it's not suggesting colon. What we need to provide this dot first name. Why it is giving error? Link signal. Let's try computation. It's not suggesting computation also. Something is wrong. Link signal. This is correct only. Let me just check one more time. So after this, we need to provide computation value, computation function. It will be like this. What is the spelling? Colon. We will get previous value and the new value. You have you uh, you must have seen ng on changes. So in an ng on changes, we used to get previous value and the next value. Just like that. So let's say new val, previous val arrow function and here we will simply say new val first why we are getting error source value computation new val what it is saying over here correct only now let me check What is the difference over here? Nothing, right? New option, old option, something. This is for reference I have taken from angular.dev site. Let's try like this. And full name will go over here. Still we are getting error. Linked signal. This is correct. 
then we have source in the source we have provided the, provided the first signal Compu okay computation spelling mistake is there fine let's get rid of this fine so this is how you create the link signal link signal will have the source means to which signal we have to check for the changes and then computation so computation is like once this signal value get changed this computation function will trigger fine now let's try to print this and here i will say zogi let's try to print this in our let me show you the interface of the link signal go to definition see what do we get we have source computation and equal function so source we have to provide the signal in computation we can have the function and in equal we can just compare the old value and the new value so we will come to that fine let's just print this whole name so over here let's get the paragraph and here i will print full name and we will access the uh, access the uh, signal like the old way only as a method it's not like how you create the how you access the normal signal just like that you will access the link signal also fine let's just try to print so here you can see we got chetan zogi now in constructor what i will do i will change the signal value so here what we did we are trying to match the first name fine so in constructor or let's create a button instead of constructor on button click we will change the value class btn btn success change f name fine now on this button click we have to change the first name signal value so click change name let's create this function fine over here what we need to do this dot first name dot set and something value we will change instead of chetan i will go with rahul let's save let's save so once i click on the change full name you can see rahul zogi we have got so what it does if this first name signal value get changed this will again compute let's me add a debugger over here then you will understand how it actually recompute the value of the full name let's open the inspect so once i click on change name continue see in new option we have got the new value in previous we got the previous value got it so what was the previous value of my full name that we have got it over here clear so this is how we means in source you can see previous value of the chetan but now we have got rahul because the new value in the first name we have got rahul and once the rahul means whatever the source value you have provided over it if this signal value get changed your computation function is going to again trigger and here we are creating new full name and that full name will get assigned to this full name got it so this is how your link signal will work okay now one more scenario as we say in the link signal three properties we have source computation and equal so now let me show you what is the purpose of equal okay now over here what we will do we will create an user signal let's create user is equal to signal and in this signal we will store object let's say id and name something will be there id colon empty or let's go with 111 comma name colon chetan fine so i have created a user signal inside that i have provided an object now i need to map i need to watch out for this id property if this id property get changed or not like that fine so now i will create one more signal let's say to create the email id so email is equal to link signal round bracket curly bracket here what i need to do is source why it's not suggesting i don't know let's try might be like uh, angular service is not updated with the angular 19 changes fine 
So source will be my user. So this dot user is my source. Then computation. Let's get this value. Now in computation, what I need to do, I will create a unique uh, name plus email and name plus ID at the rate something email ID we will create something. So let's say user. And here we will say or let's use directly our uh, template literal dollar. Let's say user dot name plus user dot ID. And at the rate gmail.com. Why it is not suggesting ID? ID does not on ID exist, no? Let's provide data type to this. Let's go with any. Still, it is saying user ID does not exist. Oh, sorry, I was trying to use this. So this dot ID over here. Fine. We don't need this any data type. So in computation, what we are trying to do, we are creating name plus ID at the regime level, something string we are creating. Then equal function is there equal so what we need to provide it in an equal let's provide you might have used sort function in javascript where we get a and the b value so a column any b colon any and here we need to match a dot id equal to equal to b dot id okay just see the implementation now now this email i will print it over here after this, let's print the as a method. Fine. And so see email I have printed. Let's see if we are we are getting the email. See Chetan111 at the rate Gmail we are getting. So na ID, name and the ID it has concatenated that and the Gmail ID. So we proper email ID is getting printed. Now, what is the benefit of this equal? So now let's create one more button change id change id so now on this button click what i'm going to do i'm going to change this signal id okay so this dot user dot set and in set what we will do id equal to one two three by default we have one 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 okay i'm changing it to one two three names i'm keeping it Let's keep it same only and then we will try. We have to try all the scenarios. Why it is giving error? Type number is not okay. Here we said string. Let's make it number now. So you can see on this button click, I'm changing the ID. And in this link signal in equal function, what we are checking ID. So fine. Let's check. And we are checking like if it is equal to fine. So let's add a debugger and let's check the function if we are changing the state signal or not so once i click on change id so i'm changing the signal value okay but you can see over here we are getting chetan 111 that's because we said if it is equal to but now if i said not equal to if old value and new value is not equal to it will again compute this email okay Let's see now. Now if I click on change ID, see again it has computed the new email ID because what we said, watch out for this ID. If ID is not equal to old ID is not equal to the new ID. So then again it will compute the new email ID. So this is one more scenario how we use the equal. So in by default, if we don't provide an equal, this is how this is how we are going to do. But if you want to use equal, let's say you have an object and inside that object, you need to watch out for a particular property that also you can do. Got it? So this is how we create the new linked signal. So two scenarios I have explained. I hope it is helpful. 
I know this is something new. Again, like uh, in uh, next version, we will get more of more in this more in, uh, things might be coming in the signal. So again, like whole picture will be there. So how do we create the signal? Now in signal, we have got this link signal also. Again, might be possibility like something new will be coming in the coming days. Fine. So for now, if you are preparing for the interview, you should be aware of like what is new thing. So this is one of the new thing from Angular 19, which we have got. So make sure you at least have one, at least have a hands-on experience on it. How do we create the link signal? How, how to use this computation function? What is the use of this equal function? Just have a glance of this. So that in an interview, at least you can say it confidently. Yeah, this is the link signal. Fine. So that's it with this video. If you are new, please do like and subscribe.